We know their names in fashion, Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein, Armani, Vera Wang, but what about the designers who create the fashions we drive? Can you name the designer who created your car? This is a party at Kensington Palace to celebrate the introduction of the new Range Rover Evoque. So here you have it, guys, what I have been waiting for all evening. Everyone is here to see the latest Range Rover. It's inside that big white box hanging from the crane. The real world test drive is here to see the man who created what's inside the box. We design vehicles that, that actually have relevance in a world that's, that's changing markedly. His name is Jerry McGovern. He's the chief designer for both Land Rover and Range Rover. When Jerry was a little kid, a teacher was wrong. Very wrong. I can remember, funnily enough, probably must have been about uh, 13 or 14, being um, pulled out of a maths lesson. What do you call it in the mirror? You say math. Um, by the teacher, by the scruff of the neck, because back then they could they could physically yeah. abuse you. And because uh, I'd been, I was at the back Drawing. sketching cars, and he pulled me out. and He said. He said, how do you ever expect to make a living drawing cars? <laughs> Jerry's career started at Chrysler. He had met Chrysler's European design director while Jerry was still in secondary school. Chrysler sponsored Jerry at the Coventry University where he earned a degree in industrial design. Next, Jerry went on to the Royal College of Art in London where he specialized in automotive design. In 1978, Jerry went to work for Chrysler near Detroit. He eventually held positions at Peugeot, MG, and Land Rover. In 1999, Ford hired Jerry to give CPR to its Lincoln brand. Jerry set up a new design studio in Irvine, California. Lincoln had not had a dedicated design director for two decades before Jerry's arrival. Eventually, in April of 2004, Jerry made his way back to Land Rover and got to work. He said Land Rover suits him more than any other car maker because it has its roots in pure design as opposed to style. The new Range Rover Evoque is the first totally new model under Jerry's design line. It takes about five years from the time a vehicle is sketched, which is now often on a computer, not Jerry's math paper, to a computer model, to the clay model, which, by the way, is still used, to the actual model, which you see coming out of the big white box here. Jerry even decided to hire Victoria Beckham, yes, that Victoria Beckham, as a design consultant. But aside from Posh Spice, where does he get his inspiration? I suppose in a way, I'd probably describe myself as a, as a, de as a design nut as opposed to an automotive uh, nut. And in that, in that extent, I, I'm a great admirer of, of, of um, some of the mid-century modern architects. Um, the, the, the sort of Richard Neutras and the John Lautners, etc. In automotive terms, it, it must have been great to have been a designer in the, in the 50s and the 60s, you know, the Bill Mitchells, the Virgil Exners. Um, and, the, and yeah, that, when I was sort of getting into it, they were heroes. And um, I suppose it would be, would it be interesting to go back and see what it was like then compared to what it's like now. I'm sure there's still a lot of things that are very similar, but clearly the world, the world has moved on. Land Rover's Jerry McGovern said that he looks for inspiration in all types of places, even his tailor where he has his suits made. Yeah, if I came in here and for the first time and I just said I want, without listening to him, I'd end up with a disaster. One of the reasons Jerry wanted us to go to his tailor was so that we would understand ETO. It means engineered to order which is what's coming to all of the Land Rovers and Range Rovers. It's part of the sort of customization of luxury. Saville Row is the London street most famous for men's clothing. And it's also adjacent to the galleries where Jerry adds to his art collection. Phil Popham is the managing director of Land Rover. We're celebrating here 40 years of Range Rover 
uh, 40 years of the car that created the luxury SUV market. But back to Jerry, we asked him who finally convinced him that he could indeed make a living designing cars. I, was, I wasn't a bad footballer at school, soccer player. Mm -hmm. But I remember at a certain age I really got into art and painting yeah, from about the age of 15. And I can remember being in in the art studios late at night when the, my friends were going off to practice and they were banging on the window saying, come on, you've got to train. I'm going, no, I want to paint. Yeah, and I can remember that sort of transition hmm. from, yeah. actually, this is what I'm really into. Hmm. You know, And then the car design bit, in a way, that was a teacher who said to me, have you ever thought about that? You're always drawing them. So one teacher said to you, how do you ever expect to make a living drawing cars? Another teacher said to you, you keep drawing cars, what about doing that as a career? Yeah, yeah. That should be a lesson to all of us. Find out what we're really passionate about and then try to make a career of it. I'm Grant Winter, reporting.